Are plastic mock-up blocks really worth the money? Find out on this episode of AC Designs Garage. Quick little story on this. When I got this, the big brown truck dropped it off out in the driveway and I was talking to the guy out there. I said, you know, this is a small block Chevrolet in this box. He said, oh, really? I said, yeah. So I opened it up. I said, check it out. It's made out of plastic. He said, won't that melt when it gets hot? Yeah. Okay, so these are not running engines, FYI. These are mock-up box. But anyway, I thought that was pretty funny. Finally, guys, we're making progress on the, my 65C10 known as Patches. Trying to get it going. This is the one we built the 2-inch pancake cross member for. I'll link a video up here somewhere that you can uh, click after the end of this video. And uh, it'll show you how to do one from start to finish. But... It turned out great. I suggest, highly suggest doing a two inch pancake. It gets everything, the cross member on these tucked up real good, the control arms and stuff. But these are the stock uh, 65 motor mounts. They bolt right into place. You know, these things have uh, two sets of holes and I don't, I can't remember. Somebody correct me in the comments, but I think the front ones are for the, v8 and the rear ones for the six cylinder i don't know we put them in the rear ones we may have to clearance just a little here for the valve cover i don't know but i like the motor sitting back sitting back in it uh we moved let's see if you can see it here these are the stock idler arm holes we moved it back almost an inch just to gain clearance right in here it was getting a little tight right in here on it with the two inch pancake but everything's still square it's actually I think more square than it was from the factory. You can see the, the drag links and everything's good and parallel with everything is square. The steering box we moved the same way. Here is a, if you look down here, this is the old hole for the steering box. So we just basically moved them back and it gave clearance for everything around. So we don't have to worry about anything. And it's still good and parallel, so shouldn't have any issues with anything like that. But back to the block, I love this thing. It's, now we had the machine, they make like, I guess, plastic harmonic balancers. But if you watched last week's video, I showed my new lathe and what I did was I made a spacer that goes through the timer chain cover and bolts up and has the exact spacing so we could, right here's where I was concerned about the pulleys and stuff hitting the drag links. But I will say, if you're messing with vehicles much, building and wanting to move stuff around off of stock the way we like to cut stuff up, these blocks range around four, the small block Chevrolet, what this one is, 450 to 480, I've seen them. I'll uh, link you one in my Amazon description if you want to pick one up there. Also, Speedway Motors sells these, but they even have a, uh, threads put in for the spark plugs you got the header bolts the good steel inserts valve covers like i said it's got a oil pan we got the oil pan bolted up i mean you can put it's even got the hole for the distributor to go down through on the intake all the intake bolts all the factory accessory holes i mean you can mock this thing up and we'll throw my intake and stuff on just so you can see it and this thing looks like a real motor has the inserts for the bell housing you can put your transmission on motor mount everything's fell into place that i put on it and the thing is you can just pick it up and carry it and move it around i mean it don't weigh anything you don't have to drag your cherry pickers out and all this stuff and right now we're just setting everything up getting everything level and i just put a ratchet strap on the back because i don't have my transmission yet so i just got a ratchet strap so i can adjust angles and but I highly suggest if you're going to build more than one car in your life, buy whatever motor because they make Hemi's and LS. They make all kinds of mock-up blocks. So I'm going to give you a secret away of what intake we're probably going to run on here. And I'll show you how good these holes line up, man. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And I'm going to use a set of old cheap valve covers just for mock-up. I'm just going to do this one side so you guys see how well all this stuff lines up. I mean, these holes are dead. Of course, it is made off of a stock block, but I mean, everything lines up. We're running 
three deuces on this bad boy. It's got to have to be a hot rod, right? Check that out. But yeah, you can get a good mock-up and stuff with it. I mean, it, it tells you everything you need to know, any clearances you're going to need. But I've just got these thrown up here because this one actually should go in the middle. Yeah, that looks killer. Gotta get these rebuilt and stuff, but yeah. What y'all think about the three deuces? That don't scream hot rod, nothing does. But yeah, I, I tell you guys that I'm pretty impressed. For, I got to point out, yeah, even the water pump, fuel pump, everything. I mean, if you building headers or anything, this thing's so nice because you can just pick it up and pull it out by hand and it really does beat having to pull the old cherry picker out and run that thing around because like I said, you can just pick it up in there and you can see where all your clearances is. And yeah, I hope you get this thing going for it too off long. It's probably going to be the beginning of middle of summer, maybe next year or so. We're trying to get Dad's car done first before we get too much in this. On the off days, I try to work on this some, but what we have now, this truck should be pretty low. I'm going for a four inch ride height. I want four inches under the front cross member. And it being pancake, this thing should be pretty low because it's going to be static drop. So I got two inch drop spindles, two inch pancake cross member. There's a coil cut out. We're going to see after we get my tires and stuff on it where it's set. We may go a little more. I don't know. Can't go too much, I don't think. I'll give you a quick go around what else we got to do this thing. I'm going to redo the, the factory panhard bar on it. I'm going to run it straight parallel with the rear end, do a little bit bigger one. i got to C-notch it. Right now it's setting it where ride height's going to be. Two inch blocks, and I measured from factory. It's uh, two inch blocks. I need six inch drop coils on the rear. So we're at eight inches of drop in the back. So this truck ought to be down there pretty good. We built this truck or started building it a couple years ago and tried to sell it and nobody wanted it. But it already has brand new rockers in it, brand new cab corners. I just did a little faux patina work on it because I think we cut it. Well, you can see the difference. It's hard to find its blue color, but they were cut right in here. So it's got all new cab corners down in here, all new rockers, in and out of rockers is patched. I just tried to, I'm going to keep this patina on it. I just love it. I know a lot of guys don't like fake patina, but the rest of the truck's real deal. And we just wanted to keep that look down there. I, this door here is not bad. I'll only show you this real quick. Worst part on this truck is this drip rail. And I may change it. It's a little crunchy. I may change that drip rail out and, uh, repatine that up there a little bit what color you guys think i should do on this this is that factory gold color i thought about maybe doing the factory blue in here and slick painting the whole inside and doing the interior and uh just leaving the outside the way it is the truck's gonna have a muncie four speed in it uh 320 i got 350 i don't know if we're gonna do a 350 or 327 in it yet i have both that's the 327 sitting there yeah guys this is the Worst place on the truck here, and I have door bottoms. And you can see here where mud was put in it years ago. It's coming out, it's been hit. So I may I may do a video on cutting, putting door bottoms, coming back, re and stuff. But both sides have brand new rockers and cab corners and cab brace supports and all that stuff in it. So, And one more thing I'm going to do. We're going to shave the fire. I'm not going crazy with all the bead rolling, although I can do it. I'm going to shave these and the holes that are unnecessary and... We're going to paint it back to factory blue color. That's just some old rattle can. And the underside from here down is rafter lined already. So. That is it. So let me know how y'all like patches. If y'all want to see more videos on, on this build here, this truck, it's going to be running uh, early style Americans on it. Five spokes and just hammered on the ground with four speed. All right, guys, hope y'all enjoyed the video on this little mock-up block, and uh, I think you need one. If you're going to do any modifications or anything like that, and you're going to have motor in and out, in and out stuff, I mean, 28 pounds, 25 pounds, whatever it is, it's not much, and every like to see here, everything bolts right up to it. So, And remember, 
Be kind to one another. Jesus loves you, so do we. God bless. We go. Thank you.